Hello guys! This is the second part of the series of videos that covers the concept of MVP architecture, Model, View, Presenter. To demonstrate the implementation, I have created a simple Tinder-like app. If you didn't watch the previous video and want to know more about the View part of the MVP, take 5 minutes and watch it. In this video, I'll show you how I implement the Presenter of Architecture. So, the main responsibility of the presenter is to orchestrate the data flow between the view and the model. It receives the user interaction and decides what it means and what to do with it. Should I show a loading, fetch some data in a web server, access my local database? Anyway, it is the bridge between the view and the model. I have created some basic classes that help me to implement the MVP. I add them to all projects that I'm, that I'm using this architecture. <clears throat> Those are the base activity and the base presenter. The base activity is an abstract class that requires a presenter. To do so, I have used the generics concept of the object-oriented programming. So, I want to ensure that all my activities has a presenter. Then, I make my base activity requires a base presenter. This way, all activities that extend from base activity will have a presenter. And that's exactly what we want. The base presenter is another abstract class. It has some methods to interact with the activity's lifecycle. But the most important thing here is this abstract method create presenter. It is called in the onCreate method of our base activity, and it should return an implementation of a presenter. See how I do it inside my voting activity. As I extend from base activity, I have to implement the createPresenter method. So here, I return my presenter implementation. I have named it as votingPresenter. Now, my activity has a protective variable called mPresenter that was declared here in the base activity. Now, let's see the implementation of the presenter. To create the presenter, I use the concept of dependency injection, which means that all the presenter's dependencies will be passed through the constructor. The presenter should be really easy to unit test, which means that you should not pass any Android dependency here. No context, no text views, edit text, or any kind of Android API. Everything that really touches the Android API should be done in your, in your activity. If you want to show a toast or create a dialog or even open a new activity, tell your view to do so. See this example here. I'm calling the method profile voted. Once the method is completed, it returns if there was a match or not. Then I call my views method show match, passing the profile. As you saw in the first video, the view is passive, but the presenter is active. It receives the user interaction and responds to that with data or an action. So you might be wondering, okay, if I should not have Android API in the presenter, how do I get the input from my activity? Well, one way you can do it is that you can ask the view to give you, uh, to give you what you need, a string, an integer, a double, and so on. I did it here. I'm telling my view to give me the amount of cards left, the amount of cards remaining. In the view, I simply return the, what, what the presenter is asking. We can say that the view, uh, the view interface is how the presenter passes and receives data from the activity or fragment. If we implement the presenter this way I propose here, then it will be really easy to unit test it. Also, any changes in our view won't uh, will not affect the, the core of your presenter's code. And that is really good, right? The whole point here is to try to minimize the required work in case of changes and also make your code testable and clean. Again, 
this is probably the most tricky part of the MVP architecture. So go ahead and download this example at my GitHub. That was it. In this video you saw how I implement the present day part of our architecture. Feel free to ask any question or make comments. <clears throat> and if you have doubts, you, you can ask anything you want. And if you like it, please thumbs up. In the next video, I'll show you how I implement the model part of our Tinder-like sample app. That's it. Thank you for watching.